So we're going to do a little experiment to see which works best, gas first or biting point first. So we're going to try it on a hill and on a flat road. So right now we're on a hill. So let's try first of all gas first in this situation before the biting point. So I'm going to go for the gas and then biting point. So you see that one, it rolls back. Even if I'm really quick, it still rolls back because by the time when I come off the brake, instantly the car starts to move backwards. Once I get the biting point, then it starts to go forward, but by then it's already rolled backwards. Let's try now with the biting point first. So biting point first and then gas, and then smoothly up on the clutch, you see? There, it doesn't roll backwards because the biting point is stopping it from going back. And then once I come off the brake, it doesn't roll backwards because the biting point is pushing it forward. And then that way it doesn't roll backwards. So I'll try again, yeah, and then add a bit of gas. Let's try it now on the flat surface. So this bit here is flat. So you see, if I come off the brake and the hand brake's down, the car doesn't move anywhere. So this is gonna be where it's easiest to move off because when you come off the brake, the car doesn't roll backwards, it just stays where it is. So here, let's see what happens when we use the biting point first and then the gas afterwards. So if you're on the brake, get the biting point and then gas. So the car starts moving, once you come off the brake, and when you're at the biting point, the car starts moving and then, then adding the gas just makes it, gives it a bit more power as you start moving on. If I was to do gas first, same thing. The car starts moving as I get to the biting point with the gas in the background. You might have situations where you don't even realize that you're on a hill. And this is, happens with a lot of learners. They don't realize they're on a hill. So if you were to try to do the gas first technique on a situation where you don't realize it's a hill like here, I'm gonna use the gas first, you see? The car rolls back, not as much as before, but still rolls back because it is still uphill, even though it doesn't seem like it. But if I do the biting point first, you see the car doesn't roll back, it starts to go forward. So in my opinion, it's much easier, especially if you don't know whether you're on a hill or not, to do the biting point first. And then once it's safe, add some gas and move on that way. A question I get asked a lot is, why is the car jerky? when I move off. So like there, the car was a little bit jerky. One of the main reasons the car's jerky is because of the way you moved your clutch. So if you move your clutch too fast or too quickly, too fast or too high up, it's gonna be jerky. If you move it smoothly up, the car's gonna be smooth. But then there's also, you have to balance it between being smooth and being quick enough. Because you could do it really smoothly, but then it's too slow and it's still a bit jerky as well. You notice once I moved, the car went like that a little bit at the end. That's because I wasn't using any gas. So when you move off without any gas, with just the clutch by itself, once you get to a certain speed, yeah, the car does that little jerk motion just to get to the idle speed. Cause it goes a bit faster than the idle speed. Then it brings it back down to the idle speed again, which is around this sort of speed here. So to make it smoother, what you should be doing is adding gas in the background as you're moving off. So practice when you're moving off, adding gas in the background so that when you come off the clutch now smoothly, it doesn't jerk. Even if you're using the gas, you can still make the car jerk if you do it the wrong way. So what I see a lot of learners do is they'll press the gas and then let go of the gas once they start moving off. You wanna keep the gas on the whole time as you're moving. So like here, for instance, I'm gonna keep the gas on and then smoothly bring the clutch up while the gas is on. Don't hear the gas and then let go of it like that because then it's going to be really jerky. Keep the gas on and then bring the clutch up smoothly, just like that.